He's a mere 122 a.m. on Sunday night, early Monday morning, just after the Super Bowl. Wasn't the most exciting game, not quite how I envisioned it. Uh, the offenses were anemic, to say the least. And I think the defense has played well, but I think a lot of that goes to the offenses just being pretty bad. So, uh, that said, it seemed like uh, Miller and Ware were the ones that put forth the most effort, and they were aptly rewarded. So, uh, nonetheless, what I didn't understand, which I guess they didn't need to do it, but all year long I kept thinking Denver was saving Vernon Davis you know, for like some huge breakout, no one expects a type of a campaign. And uh, this was their last chance, obviously, because it was the last game of the year at the Super Bowl. Didn't happen. And uh, I guess we'll never know since they didn't have to be in that position. I saw him on the field one time. Uh, so, I don't know. <laughs> that was blocking, I believe. So, nonetheless, what we're going to do here, we've uh, wrapped up our upgrades on Nightfall. Kind of wanted to move on with the blind playthrough, but it's, you know, one in the morning, uh, oftentimes. The issue I have there is it doesn't seem to save every chapter. So, it's kind of one of those deals, instead of budgeting time for one chapter, which I could easily do in the same amount of time I spent doing this, I feel like I have to budget time to complete, like, the whole section. So, Instead of coming in and doing chapter 29, I need to do 30, 31, 32, whatever there are with it for Captain Clug's headquarters. And that can get pretty, pretty late in the night when I have to be at work in a few hours. So we're going to go this route. I don't quite remember grinding out eight levels of Splat, but apparently we did, so uh, that is good news. That said, I'm way back here because I was, let me get with the spreadsheet, documenting the uh, base upgrades here. Check out the range on EQ. I mean, that's... It's a very slow attack, so it might not, like, seem as impressive. But, like, I've gone pretty much everywhere. <laughs> I was not planning on this. Check that out, though. I mean, she's basically a screen cleaner with that. 16 to 24, it's her secondary attack. You can fire them off that fast. It's not super quick. You know, like, uh, trigger happens. That. Which, if you noticed on the Skylander Twitter account there, uh, I assume elsewhere, uh, I'm not really big on any other social media site, uh, they probably post the same thing, so, did you see Double Dare Trigger Happy there? It's like they're toying with this, isn't it? Uh, so he should be, I think he should be at the radar pretty soon, so. Uh, nonetheless, though, pretty great range on EFU. Primary attack, it's kind of one of those 1, 2, 3, 4 combos that we see in this game. So, you've got hit 1, hit 2, special, and then you finish. So, it's easier to see this way. So, there's going to be 1, 2, special, and finish. Kind of hard to see, but you'll pick it up with the damage numbers. Basically, hits 1 and 2 are going to range 30 to 45. The thing that I say is special, it's kind of like some little, you know, ink or paint blob thing that does 10 to 15. And then the finish, or like the combo type thing at the end, it does 40 to 60. Uh, so let's go ahead now and I'll walk you through that and kind of see all four. But now the numbers will really come through for you. So 30, 30, 15, 40. That one was straight, no crits on that one. Uh, just 30, 30, 10, 40. There it was, when I was first doing this, I was getting 60 every single time, there we go. But you kind of get a feel for it there, so that's where we're at. Uh, she is wearing a hat that is not part of the normal splat routine. Is that the trap team crystal hat? I think it is, I just thought it kind of looked like it should go there. <laughs> you know, it's one of those deals, whatever I was doing with her at the time. Uh, it just looked like that, it's kind of like a blaster mine type of a thing, it just looks like that belongs between and so I put it on. <laughs> and, uh, she is pretty slow. I think it's kind of like this happy-go-lucky vibe that makes her seem quicker than she might be. She's not by any means like, you know, a turtle slow, but uh, I'd say speed is a little lacking with her. So, uh, nonetheless, we'll come in here and do the base upgrades. <gasps> Hello, extremely once again. So happy to dance with you, right, so, uh, even in this time of Sapphire, great turmoil and danger. Discount. That's why my prices will be you know, the lowest they can be if they vary from yours. I knew that would be why. First up is our tertiary attack. I believe this will be your quest, but I'm not sure. Sometimes it's not the tertiary attack. So uh, have an inkling for 400. Press Y. 
to send an inkling and charging. Does this not sound like Splatoon? I said this in her introduction. But, and no, I don't have Splatoon. Uh, I would have Splatoon if two things happened. One, Club Nintendo hadn't been cancelled. That got me to buy a lot of games that I just didn't really have the time to play at the current time just to get the bonus points because for me the physical rewards were what you know, like ooh yeah I want that I don't really care to get like discounted virtual console crud I was like I want the posters or you know I want that statue that they're gonna offer up here at the end of their fiscal year type thing and uh, with the cancellation of Club Nintendo there went that motivation and then with their archaic asinine policies including putting copyright claims on my own videos that they've approved for their content creator that's just a title I decided to say screw it. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know if I'll ever buy it, to be honest with you. But uh, it does look like it would be fun, but you know, Seth Bling made it in Minecraft and I don't get uh, copyright strike as I play there. So <laughs> I shouldn't say strike, it's a claim. But then if you can test enough claims, you start to get flagged and everything you do, it's a nightmare. Uh, you would have to upload a lot of videos and deal with it yourself to fully appreciate the total chaos you'll get into, but uh, we'll just enjoy it by way of Splat and Skylanders. So, sounds like a nice alternative. But let's go ahead and grab this, um, leaving damaging ink pools behind and hitting enemies in the way, so it kind of sounds like it's a two-fold deal, which will be nice. The real mystery here is the damage they'll do, <laughs> you know? Uh, let's see here. Melee attacks do more damage to enemies. Sparkly bits make it hurt more. I think we could go ahead and pick that up too. Save ourselves some time since I've grabbed about two times. Exquisite! I can't tell if that changed the brush or not. And we could actually pick that up. But we'll save those two. We'll keep it simple. <laughs> so, first thing first, we want to check out having an inkling. I'm gonna come up here and shoot. Okay, so they're not going like so. Well, there are four puddles of pain. I think there are five that time. Okay, so yeah, five there. Let's see, can we get more? No, I think five. Is now let's count a time on this thing. So, Three to four seconds, I guess. So, uh, we'll call it four seconds. Uh, five puddles to keep it short. And let's go see what we get damage wise from the tertiary attack. Start way back here and try not to have any puddles hit the dome. Uh oh. Alright. So, was that 21? Pretty sure. Alright, so what I'm thinking is that the uh, puddles are going to do 5 to 8, and then the inkling itself is going to do 21 to what would be 32. Just to see if we can get it. So you can spam that, which is kind of cool. Uh, 4 seconds, 5 puddles. I'll just go ahead and put 5 to 8. And then the inkling does 21. Isn't that the turn? I mean, Inkling is the turn. Uh, I assume Splat was in development before Splatoon. But I don't know for sure. I don't know the exact timeline. Character design is kind of like super tight guarded, <laughs> I think. So, uh, for all we know, Splat was going to be like released in Swap Force or something. Uh, highly unlikely, but you never know. But anyway, that's a pretty cool deal. Now, what I want to see now, I'm trying not to hit these, because they should give me money. Let's see if the end of fates. Yeah, so they, they should be loaded up. You never know, they do weird things if you get them really late, like right before midnight sometimes. What I want to do, though, is shoot that this way. So, yeah, I guess it's going to just be a deal where it's going to depend on the time. So, I mean, I could essentially, what I'm trying to do is, like, put one, you know, 90 degrees from me in every direction. And what's happening is by the time that time is out, or about the time I fire off the third, you know, you kind of out of the first stage. So, 
basically too active at a time. That's where you sort of end up with it. Uh, we also picked up, what was it called, Die Hard. I do like the upgrade names here, too. Uh, so that one was just melee attacks do more damage. So, looks roughly the same. I don't know. Let's check it out. So we were doing 30-30-10-40. Uh, 37, 37, 13, 50. Cool. That will work. Let's document it. So, 37, 37, 13, and 50. None of those are critical. So, half of 37 is going to wind up at 18, 5, right? Which would be 19. That would be 56, 56. And then, I'd assume 20. <laughs> if we round up. And then 75. So basically, we picked up plus 7 on 1 and 2, and then plus 3 on the special, like, ink blob type attack. Our uh, finale went plus 10 from 40 to 50, and then the critical, uh, I mean, 56, 56, 20, 75, that's significant damage. That would be what total? 112, 132, 207. So. That's pretty good for a base upgrade, I'd have to say. Let's see if we can see some of the crystals. Probably not. 75, we can confirm that. That's the one with the easiest math, of course. Because I assume they wind up right. You know, we've seen the 56. So now we just need to know if they do 6.5 and a half and 7. There it was, dude. Hallelujah. So, uh, 37 to 56 for the first and second. Specialty, that's kind of the 13 to 20 range, and then the finale 50 to 75, which again cumulatively. <gasps> Any that's place that you go, I can reach stuff. and bring you the magical upgrade. All right, broad strokes is up next for 720. Press B to fling an even larger explosive ink blob at enemies. That sounds fun. As long as the range doesn't change, the new coat of paint. I'm good with it. Uh, and right here, scapegoat, press Y to summon a more powerful inkling that leaves behind longer lasting ink pools. In that picture, it's fanning out sort of like in a trident or a Y formation. That would be a game changer, in my opinion. So. Exquisite! Alright, well, back out of here, we're gonna have to pick between prolific painter and abstract designer. So let's go ahead and check out the secondary attack first. So let's test the range. We'll stand way over here. Okay. So we were doing uh, 16 to 24. It's slight bump here. Should be 30. So right. again, criticals are few and far between. So broad strokes, 20 to 30. That's simple enough. And then I want to check something. Though. Does she have any specialty air attack? So we can shut the head, it's gonna be the same. She's got a cool jump, I think the paintbrush colors uh, kind of add to it. <laughs> I just fired off the combo there. Let's see if it registers anything. I know we should get the combo at the end, 50 to 75, but I'm curious if like the brush will drag the dummy head or be out of range. Okay, so the specialty attack didn't land there, but one or two did. That's kind of cool. I mean, you wouldn't think she'd be able to do all that you know, mid-air. So here we go, let's jump and try the tertiary. Okay, can't do that. <laughs> Alright, 27, right? And then 8 to 12. Oh yeah, that lasts a lot, lot longer. So scapegoat. 27. Well, that's actually inkling less. 7, half of 27 would be 13, 5, which would be 14, so 41 ish should be our critical. And then puddles at 8 to 12, 4. Let's see how long we've got duration wise here. Basically 5 seconds, so it's really more like a 3 to 4 and then a 5 to 6 on the time frame. We kind of gained like seconds. I feel anyway, so 
Uh, not too shabby. She has uh, shaped up quite nicely here through her base upgrades. Um, let's see here. Stro no, no, no. Abstract designer, brush up your doodling skills to make your inklings more powerful. And then prolific painter, create ink pools and more powerful ink creatures with this pad. I'll have to read up on those and kind of pick one off camera, but uh, we got her base upgrades done. Have I talked to Buzz with her once? Yes, apparently. I'm trying to remember what I was doing, because Nightfall did too, and I didn't know what we were doing, so... But I'm wondering if I didn't incorporate it into their introductory videos or something. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, check out what she's got here. So this will be straight to the I don't want to knock him out of the air. Well, you get the idea again, 207 uh, per cycle adds up pretty, pretty quickly. And now we will just uh, lob it to this guy. And they do kind of hold it, it's not like a hard blow. And they look like huge paint blocks when they look like up So you kind of have your pick here. You know, you can use that as like a distance attack, or you can just kind of you know, tear it up. Close, close. That, that knocks him back a little bit. It sends him back like a puddle. Uh oh. So, yeah. Uh, to answer our question, Splat does in fact. Stick to the training program, Skylander, and you won't Splat does in fact have a request based around that. So, that's what we talked about now. I think he just rattles it off, right? Hey there, Splat! Did you go out there and hit some enemies with your have an inkling ability? Yes, I did. I just need to do 19 more. So we'll do that. And I, I wanted to upgrade Gilgram for a really long time. And I think we're going to do that. Splat, I guess, since Nightfall basically reset herself and lost the upgrade path that we took, I didn't get to reset her or switch paths with uh, Skylander Tutor. So Splat would kind of be our guinea pig unless she does the same thing. You know, she seems like she should be able to land. Anyway, I still try that. It's just, I, oh, I'm counting that. I mean, that's I think that's the longest I've been on his head. She's pretty good at this. Okay, none of y'all probably care about that. But if you do, you know how I feel about it. So. Anyway, uh, pretty excited about Splat. Her upgrade paths can both suck. And as long as they don't screw up what I have base upgrade-wise, I'd be pretty happy with it. That's kind of the way it was with Stealth Hill. If her base upgrades alone were good enough, you didn't really need anything else, you know? Uh, so that's where I feel like I'm at with her. But uh, I'll run through, kind of crank out her first quest. I need to introduce a Splatter Splasher, all of those vehicles, actually. The one I'm missing the most introducing is high, uh, the Shield Striker of High Bolt. I think I like the pickup truck, too. But uh, anyway, because of course you just you have so many more options to use your land vehicles. That's kind uh, anyway, I will uh, look forward to that. I'm going to check out her paths. Might possibly throw Gilgrunt in the mix here, too. Obviously, I'd probably, you know, release the th three videos for Splat before you see them, but I think I might go record uh, his base upgrades. So, uh, kind of excited about that. But, uh, I intended to do it with Eruptor, and then everyone really, really wanted me to continue the part and play through. <laughs> and uh, I would be doing that right now, but it's just it would get so late on me, so... Uh, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little something. It is Skylanders Research. If you like what you see here, check out the playlist. Similarly, uh, at some point in time, I'll release all my epic and awesome spreadsheets if you're into numbers. And if you are, <laughs> which I assume you might slightly be since you're on this channel and still watching, but uh, SkylanderClub.com, that is a Skylander Club forum I set up. Sign up. We'd love to have you join personal site, monoweasem.com. You can follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, whichever you prefer. Uh, for myself and Splat, thanks for watching. We'll catch you back here next time.